Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to talk about vegetations and a couple of things you need to know about them while working with Twinmotion 2020. And within the time which we'll be talking about this, I would go through and talk about the individual settings that you might probably need to know when you're working with trees and also the grasses and, you know, a couple of other vegetation stuff. We'll take a look at the scatter. We'll also take a look at how you can animate these trees if you want them to grow and how they can respond to weather and every other thing in between this for you to get that amazing looking landscape or vegetation animation that you want to get going. So the first thing we should do is to migrate from here, which is SketchUp and work with a, you know, a model that we've downloaded off the internet that belongs to Jose Manuel. And we're going to simply use this. So what I've done over here in SketchUp is I have actually gone ahead to create a couple of parts. So we have one, two, three, and four, and then we have just these two. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I would like to share uh, a couple of new features that is now available in Twinmotion. So just in case you're about to move into Twinmotion 2020 or you're working with Twinmotion 2020, you need to be aware of this. So with this said, I'm just going to go through and say, see in Twinmotion by using the plugin and I need this for a new project. It's going to say no and get this directly in here. So with this here, the next thing which I would also like to do is to make sure I have all of these things leveled. So for this, I'm going to select the, you know, the starting ground and I'm going to raise this slightly upwards. All right, so we have this. So how do we proceed? By default, if you take a look at the vegetation section, you would see that there's a couple of updates that has been done to this. So from the tree section, you notice that we have a couple of trees and you know, from the landscape, from the brushes, from the grasses, all of these things, we do have a couple of updates with them. You now notice that we also have detailed grass. Now this was one of the updates that is now in Twinmotion and it's pretty cool to see that it retained this and actually worked on this a lot more and made it way better and we can now work with this here. So how do we get started? The first thing which I'm going to do is just simply get uh, a tree up like this. Right now you can simply grow your tree. So there is, you know, some sort of partnership with the guys from Epic Games Twin Motion with XFrog and then bringing these three models here simply make a lot of sense because right now you can proceed with changing the age of your tree. So in case you have a vegetation tree like this, in case you have a tree like this and you want this tree to change or you know animate over a period of time based of age, you can simply proceed with doing all of that. All right. So you can simply do that right here. You also notice we have growth turned on. We're going to talk about this one in a bit. You also have the season turned on and you have wind turned on. So the wind simply says that this object is supposed to animate based on the wind that is blowing. And if we choose to turn it off, you now notice that we have a static object that actually doesn't animate. All right. So with this said, I'm just going to go back and turn this on so that you guys can see. And it applies exactly the same way to all of the existing trees that you have here. And if you want to see what the tree looks like before it's grown, when it's grown and, you know, when it's about to grow, all you have to do is just hover around and you're going to notice that there's a thumbnail around here that shows you how this tree would behave when it is within the age process so you can see what it looks like when it's not when it's about to grow when it's growing and when it's fully grown so these are very very essential things that you have to you know get a grip on so just in case you want to get a model like that looks like this you don't necessarily need to leave twin motion to go find those models you can now do these things directly here so the grasses and flowers has also been updated and it's really cool to see that we have the tall grasses now that have been added so how we can apply our vegetations is pretty simple if you go over here where we have the context and you now notice that we have the vegetation paint the vegetation paint actually works exactly the same way vegetation paint works previously so what we can do is simply drag in a couple of trees so i can simply drag in one and two and have them as the trees select the paint and with this selected i will be able to paint across and you'd notice that the selection of trees or you know the selection of stuff that i have are the things i can paint directly here so you can also proceed to painting a couple more and if you want to take these things out or you want to change you know what you're painting you can also do the same thing so i can bring in some extra so i'm also going to drag this in so i'm also going to go ahead and select this one as it is and then i would hold down and simply paint across and this time i want to paint all of these things around so with this way you can easily populate your scene now if you simply take a look at this section you now notice that we have something called vegetation scatter so if i click here i now have a vegetation scatter which i can use so what i'm going to do is just simply undo all of the trees that we've done so just simply you know undo all of these beautiful things right here 
And with that done, if I click over here and go over to the section called vegetation scatter, I will be able to drag in a couple of grasses and scatter them around. So it's also very interesting to note that these things scatter based off the material that you're looking at. So if I go through and select something like this, you'll notice that these two materials are likely to be the same. If I do the same thing here, you notice that this is different and this is different. Although by simply taking a look at them, you kind of notice that they are the same. But if you want to bring in the same objects with the same material, but you want them to be unique or different, how you can do this in SketchUp is also very simple. So what we can do is simply go over to the object which you want, click, right click and say make unique texture. Now, once you select this and make it a unique texture, when you bring it over to, you know, Twin Motion, it's going to recognize this as individual object. But when you don't, it's also going to recognize them as one object. All right. So for this, what I'm going to do is click over to the context menu, go over to the section. I have vegetation scatter and I would like to scatter this based off this particular object. So I would like this to be scattered only within here and here. So by simply doing this, pressing F to zoom right in, I will be able to just go ahead and select this tall grass, click on this button that actually, you know, shows the scatter ad click right here and then click and I will have this here. Now you probably don't see the other one because we're a bit far off, but the more you zoom closer to it, you would now notice that we have exactly the same tall grass only scattered around this. You don't see them on this other section, all right? If I also want to do exactly the same thing on, let's say an area like this, I can also do the same thing. I can simply select this, come over to this section and click and the grasses are only going to be scattered around this region and not on this region so in case you're looking forward to creating you know grasses around a certain region and you're thinking about painting them and maybe you know painting these things by hand is going to take you a longer time it's very cool to see that you have a vegetation scatter feature that you can now use and it's also worth noting that the textures actually look pretty pretty cool like the way you work with the textures right now they look extremely extremely nice compared to the previous versions take a look at the textures on the trees you would also notice that the textures on the trees are looking way better than previously so when we talked about the trees we did talk about the growth so i'm just going to go ahead and select one so i'm just going to drag this right here so let's proceed by bringing out one of the trees and dropping this right here so we talked about the growth uh, we also talked about the age so how this works is pretty simple if you have a tree like you have a model like this and you want to proceed with making this tree grow so i'm going to also go ahead and get the second one i did talk about this in the previous video where we did our walkthrough so just in case you missed out on that this is how you can get this going i'm going to proceed with turning this off so we don't have this turned on and i'm also going to select this and leave this one as on so if i go through and select our settings as it is where we have our weather i can choose to get all of the models growing so like right now if i if i scroll this all the way down we can have our model be about this and you notice because we turned this off this model is not growing so all of the corresponding models that have growth turned on you can see all of them grow so you can use this to actually say or you know emphasize on time passing or you know emphasize on how objects grow over a period of time especially if you're actually working with the weather and maybe you're working with the season and you want to do some sort of reel this is definitely going to be very very helpful for you all right so let's talk about animating trees because i know a couple of people would like to animate their trees while doing their fly through or walk through around their model so how we can do this is extremely simple we've just finished talking about how you can you know animate your trees or control how the growth of your tree would work when you're working with weather and that is exactly what you can do here so for us to get this going we're going to simply go over to our you know our vegetation paint and i'll grab a couple of trees so let's just go ahead and proceed with that and also make sure that within the settings you have growth turned on i'm also going to turn on the season so that once we slide through the season our trees will conform to the season. I'm also going to make sure I have wind turned on and basically just leave everything on the way they are. Select the grasses or the trees that you want to paint across. And with this done, what I'm going to do is just simply go all the way up, select a couple of them, one, two, and maybe three. By holding down shift, you can make a multiple selection. Select the paint brush and I would proceed with painting this. So I'm painting all of this alongside. I'm just going to zoom all the way back slowly. 
and proceed with painting them a little bit more so all of these tools are all of this vegetation i'm painting is just in case you are trying to get good with this stuff you can paint with this you can also increase the density of these things individually like we talked about previously and at the same time you can choose to play with the diameter so if i select this i can increase the diameter and the diameter would make me paint way more compared to when it was not as much as we had and you can choose to also fly through around this so for our demonstration purpose what i'm going to do now is let's just go ahead and put a couple more there and maybe we can get a very simple vehicle and let's just pack this vehicle right about here okay let's also change this to maybe a color like black beautiful so now that we have this here if we want to proceed with animating this or getting some very fun stuff happening here we can do all of that directly from here so i would come over here and add a simple video so we went over to the media click on the video section and this was the previous video which we had which had us directly in here so i'm going to simply you know jump all the way back and delete this and create something new so what we want to create at this point is we would like maybe we would like our camera to pan all the way up and as it pans up we would like to see our trees grow so for this to happen i would simply move over to where we have our model or how we want to start and I'm going to click on this section called create video. We've already explained everything that had to do with making videos. And if you want to see that, there is a video which I'm going to leave in the description and possibly in the end notes so that you can proceed with checking that out. So with this here, I'm going to create a new clip. And within this new clip, I'm going to pan all the way up to a point like this and update this by simply clicking on the update or recapture button so once i do that and we choose to press our playback button you're going to notice that we have this happening now this controls how fast this runs so i'm going to simply make this 0.5 and we have a very fast one happening now so if i simply press the playback button you can now notice that this happens really quick but our trees are not being animated and that is what we want to do so for us to get this going the next thing which i want to do is simply come over here click on where we have more within the more option i would also want to change how the weather behaves so for this i might simply add a bit of cloud about a point like this i could also want these trees to be a little bit smaller about this point and i will proceed to going back to the setting now if you want to add some other effects you can choose to do all of them from here probably a couple of smog or particles if you also want to check a video where we talked about this you can also check you know the volumetric video in the description and probably you would start getting a good hang of this and i'm going to go all the way back from there and let's also affect the season just a little bit like that and go back one more time so with this right here, I would click on the recapture button to recapture this. Now, if we proceed to playing back this, you now notice our tree now animates alongside as this is happening. Now, if you also want to change the time of day while this is happening, you can also proceed by doing that right here. So I'm also going to click on more and I would like to have a couple more weather, you know, thingy going on here just to add a bit of aesthetic look. And for the trees, we might want them to grow up a little bit more than what they regularly look like. And for the season, we could actually change the season to be about something like this. I'm also going to go all the way back to the video and update this and also click back on the more and within the location like we talked about earlier you can also change the time of day so for the time of day as well i would like the time of day to be about a time like uh let's find something more suitable so maybe a time like this so we can have some very cool looking stuff happening so maybe a time like that and i'm also going to jump all the way back and update this right here so with this done i'm just going to go all the way press the back button and press the playback button and you can now see that we have our animation happening of course we don't see so much variation when it has to do with the cloud because there is actually no huge difference from what we had earlier and what we have now so i'm just going to maybe lower this a little bit and jump all the way back recapture this and let's do the playback one more time and you will probably now notice that we have more happening and this is exactly how you can get going with this for your camera effects you can still proceed to do some depth of field at the same time if you want to also check out videos where we talked about depth of field 
link is going to be in the description for that you can also choose to play with some lens flare effect if you want to add a bit of vignette you can also do that you can simply just have fun you know creating this amazing masterpiece of yours so this is basically going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace